Astros hosting the A's. The A's are plus 300 on the money line. The Astros are minus 375, and the over-under is 7.5 runs. The A's getting a run and a half are plus 160, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. There's also some casinos that have a bonus line for you that the A's getting two and a half runs are minus 115, meaning if they win this game outright or if they lose by two, you'd still win this game. The Astros laying a run and a half are minus 154, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And yet again, they also have some bonus lines for the Astros where if they win the game by two, by three runs, they're minus 105. Now, Martinez did not pitch against the Astros either last year or this year. And Verlander, he's pitched against the A's this year twice. Seven innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game 5-4, to four, and that was in Oakland. Six innings, no runs, no earned. They won that game 5 nothing, and that was in Houston. Now, the Astros are... Dun, 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 dun. Uh, five game winning streak. They're eight and two in their last 10, 48 and 22 at home. They are 77 and 67 on the run line overall. They're 36 and 34 on the run line at home. The A's are on a one game losing streak. They're three and seven in their last 10. They are 29 and 44 on the road. They are 69 and 75 on the run line overall. And they're 43 and 29 on the run line on the road. They've been much better this year on the road than they have been at home. Head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a six-game winning streak. The Astros are on a three-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The under 7.5 and a half is 6-4. And, and if you remember the stats that I keep saying all season, every time Verlander pitches, if the games go under, he wins. If the games go over, he loses. I'm going to take the Astros with the money line, the Astros laying the run and a half, and the under. But for the bonus line, I would take the A's with the two and a half runs. It's just too many runs, and you're still getting decent odds. And this is Verlander's first start back off of the DL, so or the IL, whatever you want to call it. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.